Executive Director Adjoke Ayisa at Afolabi Foundation for Luke Ademukun joins me to discuss International Widows Day. Good to have you join us. Um, if you can hear me, uh, my, my question is, we, we understand that now we have more widows in the world because of the COVID-19 pandemic, especially even here in Nigeria, where um, we used to have very basic archaic practices when it comes to women who have lost their husbands. Talk to us about some of the challenges that widows are facing at this time. Uh, well, thank you for that question. I, I, I just, uh, I'm alluding to your introduction on this subject. Uh, beyond COVID-19, the issue of violence is also increasing, you know, uh, the number of widows and also changing, you know, the demographics of widows because you're not talking about older widows, you're talking about younger widows now, and that should be a cause of concern for government and peoples across the world. Yes, we are celebrating uh, the International Widows Day, but I have my reservation with today's celebration because even the United Nations itself, uh, I, I don't think they are at, uh, they have a full grasp of um, the issues that uh, uh, widows face. Look back from 2017 to 2021. Check the theme of Widows Day. You will see that it's been recycled. You have this uh, invisible women, invisible problem that, that has been repeated about four, five you know, times. So if, if the United Nations you know, itself does not understand the subject matter, how can you convince the you know, government across the world to begin to pay attention you know, to it? So I'm asking you as uh, a media group uh, that is very credible, to also take up these issues. We can't be repeating the same you know, uh, thing. There's something wrong. It's either the people who are designing the team, they don't have understanding of the subject, or somebody is just being you know, lazy mentally to uh, confront these issues. Yes, uh, to your question. And, and, yes. and perhaps, sorry to interrupt you, um, perhaps, perhaps this is um, a, 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 some sort of a shadow of the bigger problem. If, if we're also recycling themes, it shows that, look, there is actually a bigger problem of um, widows really not, not, they don't matter to a lot of people. It takes an individual to Thank say, you. what can I do for widows? Sometimes people don't even recognize that, you know, there are parts of the larger uh, challenges that we are all facing. So talk to us about what can be done. Is it from the policy aspect? Is it from behavioral change? What can we do? Thank you. I, I think it's a combination of factors. We talk about uh, uh, traditional practices that stem you know, from patriarchy, from uh, um, a discri uh, from discriminatory environment in terms of you know, culture, from socialization. Yes, uh, on the individual basis, we need to change our attitude, we need to change our behavior. We need to address the issue of stigmatization, the issue of bias against you no know, widows. We must address that. At the national level, we need to talk about policies you know, also. We need to look at our gender policy to see how much does it attract, uh, uh, attend to the issue that concerns you know, to our widows. We also, at, at the organizational you know, level, uh, I think human resource department will also need to pay some attention uh, to the way uh, employees you know, uh, fill uh, forms or Mm. Uh, we're having um, network challenges there with Faluke, just to make an important point about how we can all treat widows better. Uh, we'll bring you more on that conversation. All right, we, we have we have Faluke now. Please go on with your thoughts. Yeah, thank you. So at the, organization, the organizational level, we also need to begin to pay some attention to employee matters. Uh, because I've worked for widows for over you know um, a decade now, and I see that even at organizational level there are you know issues at the legal level in terms of awareness, in terms of um, uh, helping you know families, not just men this time, to look at the issue of will, so that they are not just taking you know unprepared. These are things that we need to look at. We need to look at our laws in terms of maybe the violence against person prohibition. You know, our law is also uh, looking at the issue of uh, widows. We need to look at that globally. We need to look at the Sustainable Development Goals, Goal 5. Goal 5, you know, talk about, it talks about gender equality. It's also, you know, address the issue of harmful practices. But my sister, I tell you, if you look at that goal, it does not even mention widows. And you are talking about millions in terms of population. So why is the world silent about the issues? Why, why, why is it it's like this? And nobody just wants to... Uh, look at it. We, we chose to make them invisible. It isn't that they are invisible. Widows are not invisible. They are part of our everyday reality. 
But for some reasons, the whole world has chosen to make them invisible. So we need to look you know, at this. And our policymakers begin to, when you talk about women, don't look at women as one homogeneous in a group. Women are not homogeneous. Different women with different life mm. experiences make up their group of women. So we must begin at policy level to see how we address issues that pertain to women. Mm. And different. not just put women, you know, in one box, but actually look at it individually uh, pertaining to our, our, our challenges. And then I guess one day is not also enough to have this conversation. We do should be remembered every single day. And we hope that as a larger society, we, we continue to do that. Executive Director Adoke Aisat for Labi Foundation, for Luke Ademoku, thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, TV.